Hello, my dear. Rhonda Constant, your favorite hometown medium, physical energy healer, oracle card advisor, paranormal investigator, voice for your loved ones. How are you today? So, you've done this before. You know how it works. I just like to remind people this is not an exact science. We communicate the best way we can. So, if it doesn't make any sense now, keep it in mind. You'll either remember it later, see it later, or somebody else will validate it for you later. So, uh, you know, like I say, this is their show. It's their ball game. So we're going to talk to your grandmother, May. She says people used to tease her by saying, Mother, may I? Mother, may I? You know, you know that, uh, well, game us older ones used to play uh, before we had electronics. <laughs> it's kind of referring to that game. But people used to evidently say it to her, too. Mother, may I? She's showing you've got something heavy on your shoulders. Something something weighing heavy on your shoulders. Or you've got a lot of responsibility. You've got something, something weighing heavy on you. It's almost like a monkey on your back. It's, um... It's, but she's not saying what it is, just that there's something weighing heavy, like heavy on your shoulders. And usually that's a responsibility that when it's heavy on your shoulders, not sure. Of course, she's not saying, I wish they would be, give out a little more details sometimes. They usually don't. Um, something about you feeling like you have to take the brunt of it. The brunt of it or the brunt of the blow? When she says, actually, it's not your responsibility. So whatever this is, so whatever it is, you're feeling a big responsibility to put something on your shoulders that really isn't your responsibility, that you kind of need to maybe let somebody else do it, um, or maybe share it with somebody else. I'm not sure what she's getting at here, but it's funny because, um, she kind of pushed me to pull a release card, which they do sometimes before I started this. So your release card was surrender your attachment to results. The formula for success is to do all you can do to make things happen then let go of the results. Holding on too tightly to a desired outcome can sabotage it. It is so, so, so true. So, um, whatever this is, sometimes you need to, <clears throat> you've done what you can do, then let it go and, uh, kind of turn it out to the universe and let them handle it, so to speak. Um, and then just sit back and watch. <laughs> She's showing me a she showed me a little rowboat. You rowing in the rowboat. She goes, go with the flow. Go with the flow. This feels really tense and tight. Get in the rowboat. Just go with the flow. Flow downstream, not upstream. She's, cool. She's showing downstream. Go with the flow and watch the results and see what happens. It's time to go with the flow. So... Don't be afraid to step back from whatever this heavy thing is on you, at least for a little bit, and go with the flow. And a lot of times when you release, you, when you release that attachment to the results, it makes things happen. The tighter you hold on to it, the tighter you keep it there instead of letting it flow and do what it needs to do. 
holding on too tightly can sabotage the outcome. And that is very, very true. She's calling you Spanky or something close to that, but we stink at names and nicknames. Don't know why. So might have to stretch that outside the box a little bit. She says you're a beautiful person, inside and out. Don't have to be beautiful on the outside to be beautiful on the inside. And she's shaking her head. People make you think that. And that's not true. Keep being you. She says, keep being you. She's saying back in her day, it was hard to be you, to be your own authentic self, because you had to fit inside a certain pattern back, back in that day. And you couldn't do things like you can nowadays. Women couldn't. She says, take advantage of that. Take advantage of that. Make that happen. Be you. Take advantage. And she doesn't mean take advantage in a bad way. She says, take advantage of the privilege of the woman of today that I didn't have in my day. Okay, she's referring to somebody. Here we go with the names again, and we stink at names. Kenny or Bradley. I know those don't sound alike, but and I'm not going to go through a big long explanation and tell you why. But it's either Kenny or Bradley. Might have to stretch it outside the box. For some reason, she's uh, she's uh, acknowledging somebody with a name name like that. I wish they quit with the names if we're not going to get them exact. <laughs> it's her show. She's talking about sweet cherry pie. So know that if you smell a fresh baked cherry pie, and I'm sure I've told you before, you can be outside in the store, in your house, doesn't matter where you're at, and you get a whiff of like cherry pie fresh out of the oven. Maybe she used to make these for people. Maybe she used to make these for you. So know that when you smell that, that's her dropping in to go, hey, I'm here. I'm here to listen. If you want to talk, I'm letting you know I'm around. I, don't, I thought she was showing you at first and then... I thought maybe it was somebody else with a walker. Somebody walking with a walker or some type of walking aid of some type. So I don't know if she's trying to validate herself or she's validating something that you're doing. You're worrying too much about the future. Grandma says, it's not, the future is good. You're worrying too much about it. You need to sit back and enjoy what you have right now in the present moment and stop worrying so much about the future. It'll take care of itself. And it won't be here until it's ready. So be the beautiful you that you're supposed to be now because you're not there in the future yet. So enjoy you and what you have around you now. You are special. A lot more special than you know. 
there's something or someone that you need to compromise with. Compromise. She keeps saying compromise. It can't all be one way. It can't all be one person. It can't. You have to work together. And again, she's not saying what subject this is on. So whatever the first thing is that pops into your mind when she says that, that's, that'll be it. You could be a free spirit, but you're not allowing yourself to be a free spirit. You're holding yourself back. You're holding the reins in. She says for you to go fly. Go fly and feel what it feels like to be free. All is well. She says you're worrying too much. Yellow. Yellow. It sounds like she's saying yellow coats. C-O-A-T-S. Yellow coats. I think she's trying to say something else besides coats. But I'm not quite, but it sounds really close to coat. So there's one you might have to stretch it. Are you wearing a yellow coat? Did you just buy a yellow coat? Does she have a yellow coat? I don't. Yeah, she's stretching the word out a little bit. It, courts. Coats, courts. C-O-U-R-T-S. I don't know what that would be. Quartz, yellow quartz, like, like these. I don't know. Do you have any? Make sure you look to the horizon. And she's being kind of cryptical on a lot of stuff. Make sure. Make sure you're looking at the horizon. But I think she means, I'm not sure she means physical. Grandma's being that. I can't even think of the word I want to use. <laughs> Cryptic, I don't know what else to say. She says, just remember it's the little things in life that are free that are easy, that are not man-made, that are the most important things in life. The little simple things that you just take for granted, that hold no power over you, that are free, are the most important things in life. So go back to basics, go back to the simple, go back to the easy, go back to the love. Again, she says, go back to the basics. Be simple, be free, it will take the knot out of your gut when you can just go, <sighs> again, she's pointing at the card, surrender your attachment to the results and just let it go and breathe. And if in you don't have to do meditation. I can't do it because I can't sit still long enough, even though my uh, 
mentor <laughs> just told me yesterday, get back in there, Rhonda, get it going, go sit in nature, go start writing stuff down. I'm going, damn. So, go back to the basics, go back to nature, go back to, like, uh, you don't have to do meditation, like I was just saying, but learn to breathe through your nose and hold it a couple seconds and out through your mouth in through your nose and do that like three times real slow whenever you get the knot in your stomach or that weight on your shoulders just and it's it's something about the breathing method that just will calm you it will actually calm you less stress more love grandma says Oh, she says, you're such a sweetie. Sometimes you can be a bundle of nerves. She's kind of laughing when she says this. She says, but who wouldn't be nowadays? <laughs> and another one that says they're glad they aren't here for this. <laughs> I think that's the reason some people are escaping. They don't want us to watch this shit show that's been going on lately in our country. <laughs> they want out of here. <laughs> okay, my dear. With that, she's leaving. She's carrying that cherry pie like this as she's leaving. Like, and, you, and she's showing the steam coming off of it. <laughs> like she just baked it. So uh, go make your cherry pie. But it doesn't count smelling it if you're making it. It has to smell when she's around, you know, will be just like out of the blue. It doesn't count if you're going through a bakery. And it doesn't count. Okay, my dear. So if you get a knot in your stomach, you get that pressure, call on grandma. Ask her to step in and help you. Ask her. Give her permission. She cannot override your free will choice. Give her permission to step in and go, hey, grandma. Can you just help calm me a little bit or help take this situation, you know, back away from me a little bit or off my shoulders or, and then watch and see what happens. You'll be amazed if you pay attention. Okay, much love to you, my dear. Thank you very much for allowing me to be her voice. Rhonda Constant, your favorite hometown medium, physical energy healer, oracle card advisor, paranormal investigator. Voice for your loved ones. Later.